We cleaned the head up the other day and uh, she takes in the valves in now. Um, we got a guest over here. Pete showed up and we're welding crap on his stupid Miata. Um, we gotta get the ball rolling because we've been slacking. We got stuff laying around. Engine is still, I mean, we got the pistons in the other day. Other day, you guys saw that. Um, but yeah, dude, we're slipping. Um, we just, we're welding up his downpipe on his uh, Miata little thing that he's making. And uh, we got this paste, this solar flux, and you're supposed to back up stainless steel when you weld it or like back purge with uh, argon, but I'm not doing that because we got this stuff, which is, I think, a cheaper option. And basically, you just paint that on the inside with methanol. You can use alcohol too, but they say methanol is preferred. So we backed that up, and now we're gonna be TIG welding this. Stick got uh, six more valves in, and we got this downpipe pretty much welded up. So it's looking like it's a freaking mess. We're avoiding all kinds of stuff in this uh, engine bay. The steering shaft is like super close, and uh, firewall is like right there. So we're avoiding everything we can, and uh, this is what we got. So hopefully this thing yeah. fits. If you're trying and... to, if you're <laughs> trying to run a three inch. You're about to be. Yeah, if you're running a more. <laughs> three inch on a Miata, you're gonna be freaking hating it because there's a lot of. Stuff. You gotta avoid, that would've been a test, a strength test. So fast forward a couple days, uh, we got all the valves in, the 2.8 liter head, and we got super tech valve springs with the uh, retainers. Just got the stock valves in it, and got the engine over here. We're cleaning off the top of this surface, and maybe clean off the top of this, I think we already did. We got a brand new head gasket. We're gonna bolt this thing up, ARP head studs, and then after we get that on, we're going to get the camshafts in, which are chilling on top of the bench there. Going to get all the timing stuff put together. We do need to uh, put new bearings in the intermediate shaft. There's a bearing here. There's also a bearing behind this freeze plug. I've never done that before, so that's going to be interesting. Got the new bearings right here. A lot of people uh, just kind of skip this and don't replace it, but we're going to put new ones in since this is a, like the freshest build you can ever make on a VR6. What do you think? <laughs> oh yeah! Shoot, I forgot! Okay, my brother yesterday went to the junkyard and there was a Porsche Cayenne there. 04. 04. And uh, them have the 3.2 liter VR6 engines in there. So he is over here getting ideas and he got the cylinder head. So this surface is all clean, prepped, ready to go. Uh, saying in this, we just get a block and uh, some sandpaper and just kind of go over the whole thing just to make sure there's no burrs on it or no kind of, uh, I don't know, just imperfections on the surface that's going to be sealing. Fresh gasket and, uh, dude, let's go. I uh, just took the dowel pins out of the old engine, which is just kind of laying on the ground casually over there. And it's got the surfaces all clean, about ready to set this head. On this engine, you know where the dowel pin, the um, studs are? Yeah, in there somewhere. Right there. In the box. Dude, we're ready. freaking doing it! Let's go, this thing is right to hit bears. Can I size the intake? Mm hmm. We got the ARP head studs in. You just kind of tighten them up, snug them up by hand, and then you get the assembly lube, which we're getting all that stuff together here. And uh, you want to get the thread and the surface of the washer that the nut comes into contact with just to reduce any kind of friction when you torque them. So we got all them on and inside the head gasket there is two three millimeter holes on each side of this where the uh, cam chain goes and you want to fill them up with silicone I guess because it helps seal where this side cover goes and this bottom cover goes on this gasket sticking out. So we just put some uh, silicone in there. We used the right stuff which is freaking awesome for uh, oil pans like on here and uh, we used a bunch on the transmission where the fourth gear support is which is right here and then on this cover too where we had to drill the holes for them nuts sticking out and studs sticking out dude that stuff works super good for that so we're gonna put the uh, nuts and washers on to this thing torque this down probably start working on the uh, cam chain get the cans in 
and get this thing rolling. It's coming. Sounded like it. So we hit the bearing out of here. This is the old one and it has a little oil hole which you have to line up with the port and the block. I got a nut on that side and you can just barely see the, the, um, the head of that socket head cap screw in there with a the washer on it. And I'm gonna use that bolt to suck these together to push in the new bearing. First I'm gonna heat this up though and hopefully this thing goes in good. We got that little bushing in there. Now we are gonna be working on this bushing and we gotta get that sucker out to put the new one in. So I'm gonna get some uh, oil thread and I got a socket out. That fits the uh, diameter of this that we're gonna use to press the new one in. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. Is that going straight? No. Got the new bearing in and Everything looked good on that. That was pretty hard to get in. If you guys ever put one of them and saw one of them, um, definitely be easy on it and make sure it's straight. There's a part right here where they, it comes together and they kind of like peened it over, like they joined them, almost like a dovetail kind of thing. And uh, if you whack on one end of that, it's gonna, it's gonna like move it like one way or the other and it's gonna cause a high spot. You're gonna be fighting it, sanding it, trying to get it round again. But this one went in pretty good. We were able to go in straight, and like you saw in the previous clip, got a piece of oil thread on that side, one on this side, tightened it together, and it was able to suck it in. And we are installing that intermediate shaft right now. I don't know what the heck he's doing. So we're getting this plate on, which holds the intermediate shaft in place, and they are flathead screws that take a Phillips style, like a cross point uh, screwdriver. And my brother said this only fits, whoa, this only fits one way, so you can't like put it on the wrong orient orientation. We're going to red Loctite these because this absolutely cannot come out. It'll end up in the chains or down the oil pan. So we did get the uh, camshafts in the other day. The plate is in there. It's ready for the sprockets to be put on and the upper portion of the uh, cam chain. We did get the uh, sprocket, the intermediate shaft in. The, what is that, tensioner in, got in, the chain on, this is torqued, everything's red lock tight down here. And uh, so while my brother is at work, I'm gonna put all this crap together, sprockets on and stuff, because dude, he's slacking so freaking bad. It's terrible, he is, he's bad right now. So, I'm gonna get this mess onto this engine and freaking make it happen.